Hi, Layla. I'm sorry that that did not work out uh, the last video. Um, let's try this again. Let's start here. And let's take out what you have. You should put your last name and not your first name up here in the heading. Okay, so I'm going to go to... Well, actually, yeah, Hello. insert page yes. number. All right, and then I'm going to say, yes. it says it's at the top of the page. So you're going to put your last name, Brown, there. Yeah, we want $5 million. Okay, anyway, and what we're going to do okay. here is go ahead and set this up. Yes. Okay, we're sure. going to go paragraph we're not going to play zero, and then we're going to hit double space here, and there we go there. Okay. All right. So we're going to go back to thesis. That should be a line to the left, since you have to have four lines. Okay, that's a double space. Now that's four. You notice right there that's more space. Um, okay, so I, all right. You need to put annotated bibliography. Actually, I'm not really sure where you want this thing to go. Um, and do remember, and I'm sure I mentioned this on your tape, um, on the video, even though it had a black screen, that I told you guys not to use this one from Rolling Stone. I showed it to you, but that's not a legitimate news source. Um, I... I'm going to I'm I'm thinking that this is what you say is the title, but don't think you got it from the inner well the the name is misspelled. Um okay, I don't know why you're putting academic search complete there because you would have to find it in there. This did not come from Academic Search Complete. So I'm really not sure what you're doing here. Um, okay, but I do want to also, while I'm up here, go to Edit, Select All, right-click, Paragraph. Okay, this is all at zero. Very good. All right, so I'm going to click out of that, and then I'm going to go over. I'm going to go here. Once you do have a legitimate source, go to paragraph, that's all zero, and hit hanging. Now, you should have had five on here. Oh, and another thing, uh, don't force, oh, sorry, this is the wrong one. Okay, don't, don't, in other words, put the, uh, your link on the next line unless it wants to do that. Okay, you let it, you let it do that. Just putting academic search complete here doesn't mean it came from there. It obviously did not. So let's take that stuff out. It should be from academic search complete, but you got this one off the internet and, and you're going to, I'm not going to accept it. In fact, I'm going to do this and I am going to strike it out. 
to remind you that I'm not going to accept that. Um, okay, so be sure that you put this hyphenated. Okay, so you said the mother did it. Um, so what you would do is you would go over. Let me see if I can find it. I may have to toggle back and forth. I'm going to put in Dallas College Library Databases. Hmm. Okay. Um, put academic. Okay. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to... I'm in Academic Search Complete. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on this. And you will sign in with your credentials. So I'm just going to say, did Pat, I'm just going to ask it a question. Did Patsy Ramsey kill her daughter? Okay, then I'm going to hit return. Okay, so let's go down here and limit it to magazines, academic journals, and uh, no, the world didn't even know who that child was in 78. She wasn't even born, so I'm going to put 1997 because that was a month after she died because she ended she was at the end of 1996 okay so i'm going to we did not kill her find the killer mothers to blame okay any of these would work but i'm going to go ahead and say search now will you do that there are 23 articles. When you do that, you have to make sure that um, this box didn't clear out. You may have to go back. Once you put limitations on it over here, um, let's look at Find the Killer. Because that one talked Okay, so we're going to go through the HTML full text. Finally, answer some questions. Uh, quickly, that okay, so attacking the Ramsey, so did they really kill her? So, what you're going to look at is. Okay. So I think there should be sufficient things for you to do it, um, something on. So remember, you go over here to email. You put your email address in. Okay. It's already on MLA 9. Then you send it. It'll send you a copy of the article and the citation. But right now, I don't have time to do that part so i'm going to just go over here and get the citation i don't i want you to email the whole thing the whole article and the citation okay so here it is here and so you're going to highlight that now when you get that in your email you're going to be able to do that so I could. Oh. Which one was it? Oh, okay. I didn't do a good job of copy and paste. Okay, so, um, Let me go back over here. I'm going to do a right click copy. I'm going to do a right click 
paste. Okay. We'll push this one way, 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 way there because you need to take that out. All right, so we need to make sure that this is Times New Roman, and that is 12. All right, and you're going to take EBSCO host out and put academic search complete. You're going to take this out of all capital letters, so you're going to highlight that. You're going to go to capital A, little a. All right. And then you will skim over that article. And you will talk about, oh, I, don't, I want to take this part out. You're going to talk about, you hit that and then that. Uh, According to this article, Patsy Ramsey, dot, dot, dot. You just go ahead and finish that. Now, I'm going to take this out. There we go. And I'm going to check the formatting here. I'm going to go right-click. I'm going to go to paragraph. These are all set at zero. This all looks good. Okay, good. We don't want that one down there. So the so then you would continue this. This would be one of your um uh, this would be one of your sources. So you're going to have to have I would use this one, go back and skim that, and then um you'll need to have four more. Yeah. <laughs> 